Yeah, I continue to think that like one of the really important things for any entrepreneur is just a completely psychotic amount of persistence to push the thing forward is like uh, a really good indicator of success, I think, because you'll eventually push the thing forward if you're just keeping at it forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, has there been any... So in some of this feedback that you've been getting, has there been anything that like has been particularly particularly um, you know impactful or like a light bulb moment for you that that um, comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, so in the in the context of open source and even providing insights in open source, the the most insightful thing that I've I've learned is that no one really knows <laughs> what they want to know. Um, so like everyone has assumptions, everyone has like really good cool blog posts to write. Um, about this, and I think like the Chaos Project probably does a really the, one of the best jobs on like displaying and what health and open source looks like and how to get started. Um, but at the end of the day, like I, I talk to a lot of folks who are maintaining open source projects or want to uh, start doing open source as a strategy of their company, uh, but they don't know really know like how to get started or we, even the reason. So like, like it, my insight is like essentially it's like why do you want to do this? And like if you don't know why, like pick one of these three reasons. And if one of these three reasons, like fill one of the buckets that maybe one of your OKRs or one of the reasons why you want to have an open source project, then like, okay, let's get started. But if like it's a struggle to figure out like why we're open sourcing things and like probably just going to keep it a private repo uh, unless it's like a really good justifiable reason. 